Oh, that's recording, right? Just see what you can grab with this. Here's our calcium oxide, rock lime. So it's marble that's been heated. Heated to a thousand degrees for four hours. So I'm going to put it into this uh, drum of water. Can I have a look? Let's see what happens. The cold rock. Let the light sit over. Yeah. So we need some pasta. Yeah. So it's uh, well, absorbing water and chemically pushing out heat. So I've got to add it carefully so it doesn't uh, bubble too much. It's getting I reckon we overdo it. Just for one. Tip, tip, bait. Tap on the finger. I've got a bucket of water handy in case it uh, spits on me. I can wash it off. Heated to drive off 40% carbon dioxide, so it weighs just over 12 kilograms. Starting <laughs> 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 now. Oh yeah, that's the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going in? <laughs> Pour it all in. Man. If you pour it all in, it explodes back in the tank. Yeah, so I've got to keep it stirred at the same time to make sure I've got plenty of water for the actors. The traditional way of uh, traditional way of making this is to uh, mix it immediately with sand. So you mix the rock line with sand. So when you add water, the uh, heat adds to the uh, chemical reaction and it causes the lime to uh, scour the outside of the sand and makes better adhesion. Oh, <laughs> so you put the sand in first. Yeah, you mix it. With, with uh, it. So it's got to be dry sand and rock lime. How much does the lime expand when you have it in the water? Well, it doesn't really expand. It, looks like it just <laughs> absorbs that water. So it's only absorbed the water that's in there. So you can see that's how the pasta lime or the hydrated lime is made. So that's drying out. So if I just left it like that, it would dry out to a powder. And that's really uh, free of lumps, it's just a nice creamy mix. So can you paint the wall with that? Yeah, so uh, painting the wall with a line that's hot as this is called uh, a hot poultice. <laughs> so that was, a, that was a popular way until recently of cleaning a wall. If you had a dirty stone wall, you'd uh, take that hot mix and with a stick plaster it onto a wall and the heat activates the minerals in the wall, pulls it out into the lime, and then you pull the lime off afterwards and it pulls the dirt out of the wall. But it's extremely corrosive and it's hot, so there's uh, health and safety issues with putting it on the wall. Yeah. And uh, I reckon in the end, just use soap and water, stuff that doesn't hurt your skin and it's not going to hurt the stone either. It looks like fucking mashed potato or something. Yeah, I'm going to add some water to this, so uh, I didn't add enough. Yeah, we've already reacted to a degree. I need some water, more water for the reaction. Just a bit more water from the tap outside. Sure. So the, the idea of ageing it is to make sure that that chemical reaction... It does look like a Yeah. Oh, you can eat it. That will kill you. Ah, so you need anything, though. Not a quick sort of... I don't feel it, though. <laughs> We're going to make sure the water reaches every part. I still feel there's a couple of little gritty bits at the bottom. So when, I'm, when this is cool, I'll pour it into our uh, container. Yeah, so I'll pour it into this one. 
I'm going to decant it from this container into the wheelie bin. And it'll be uh, over for years. So I'm quite happy with that. I've taken uh, about three years to try and get the kiln right and the burner right. <laughs>